salsifies. There's um, three different species. And uh, for food, the thick fleshy roots of all three species collected before the flower stalks appear can be eaten raw, roasted, fried, or boiled. But those of the cultivated species, which is the common salsify, are the largest and tastiest. They are said to taste like parsnips. Salsify roots have also been dried, ground, and added to cakes, or roasted until they are dark brown, ground, and used as a coffee substitute. Tender young leaves, buds, and flowers have been added to salads or served as a cooked vegetable. The young stalks and root crowns can be gently simmered like asparagus and artichokes, respectively. The seeds can be used to make tasty sprouts. For medicinal use, the plants were used for many years to relieve heartburn and to stimulate urination, especially in the treatment of kidney stones. The milky juice was taken to cure indigestion and was applied to dressings to stop oozing and bleeding of sores and wounds. Common salsify tea was used as a drink or lotion to treat the bites of mad coyotes on both humans and livestock. Um, some tribes actually gathered the rubbery sap from broken stems and leaves, dried it, and rolled it into balls, and then they chewed it like gum. There's the meadow salsify, or meadow's goat beard, as is otherwise known. There's the yellow salsify, or common goat's beard. And then there's the common salsify, or oyster plant. And all three species are European weeds that grow on disturbed sites across North America.